Hey guys, Jason CV Customs. So we're back on the 96 12 valve P pump. When we left off, we finished the twin ram intake, the fuel plate, bled the lines, did the valve covers. So we've got the, the driver's side of the engines all put back together. Um, oh, and we put new injectors in it as well. Today's turbo day. Now we bled the lines, got it running again before we did the turbo because I like to run the engine for at least 10, 15 minutes before I remove an exhaust manifold. I've had a lot of luck with doing that and not breaking exhaust manifold bolts in the head because then you're just adding a bunch of time to your job. Some people do it different ways. Some people like to take a torch and heat up the bolts before they remove them. I don't recommend that. I, I never recommend heating up the head of your engine in a specific spot with a torch. You could warp it, you could do a lot of things. So I don't recommend that, some people do. We're gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna fire this thing up, I'm gonna let it run, get hot, and then we'll take the turbo and exhaust manifold off and replace that. Okay, we ran it, got it hot. It takes a 13 millimeter to loosen these bolts. They're factory bolts. So all I'm gonna do is go around to each one and just break it loose. That's it. So go around all of them, break it loose. Don't loosen it completely up. Everything is hot right now, so be careful touching it. Once it's loose, we'll remove the turbo. Turbo's just these. Yeah, let me see if I can get you to where you can see it. The, the turbo just has these four bolts here. You'll take this line off the top. And there's a two bolt flange on the bottom, remove that. Other than that, it's one clamp and uh, just a regular hose clamp on the air intake. Pull those two off, turbo comes out of the way, it makes it easier to get the rest of them out. But we wanna break everything loose on the exhaust manifold while it's hot. So we'll do that first, then remove the turbo, then the exhaust manifold, and it'll be out of the way. All right guys, I'm gonna get it done. Show you what we got after that. Okay guys, one thing I wanted to show you. Okay, we broke them all loose, but of course there's always one that wants to fight you. So the one that wanted to fight me is this guy right here. What, when I went to loosen it, I could feel it drag when I, when I was trying to get it to free up. So what I did was I took the uh, PB blaster, you can use WD-40, doesn't really matter. And then I just put a wrench on it. And with the wrench on it, I just worked it back and forth and let the PB blaster get into the thread. So that thing's gonna come out no problem now. Um, seemed like everything loosened up. Don't wanna get too excited till it's off. But like I said, now I'm gonna remove these four bolts. I'm just gonna take this line completely out of the way so I don't risk hitting it with the exhaust manifold when I come off. So I'll take that off on both ends and I'll put a cap over this line here so we don't get debris down in our oil. Um, hose clamp and then compression clamp on the exhaust. Take those two off and then there's two bolts underneath on the oil tube. It'll be easier to show you when I get it out but we'll take those off and pull the turbo out of the way and then the exhaust manifold. Okay, I removed the air box. Gives us a little better view of it. You can see where these two bolts are down here, one on each side. And I forgot to mention for the intercooler, we're gonna take another bolt off. I believe the kit for the new turbo requires the use of this elbow. Um, we'll find out when we get over to that. I wanna just get this off the engine first. So, right there, right there, right there. Air cleaner's already off. And we'll take this off. All right, guys. All right, turbo's off. Better look at the the two bolts on that flange on the bottom. So we are replacing the exhaust. The new turbo calls for a four inch. And so that's all getting replaced. So before we put the manifold back in, we'll pull this out of our way, make it easier. Um, all the bolts have loosened for us. So it's at this point, we're just gonna pull it out 
and then we'll clean it up and get ready for the uh, new manifold and turbo. Okay, exhaust manifold is off, and uh, now we just need to get emery cloth in there, clean up our mating surface. Um, we need to clean it on the head and on the flange, so we'll clean all that up, and we'll chase these threads for the exhaust manifold with a uh, tap, and I'll show you why right now. So here's all the bolts that came out. And I'm going to kind of zoom in on this one. You can see how the threads are actually flatter than the bolt right next to it. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can get them out, be thankful they all came out and didn't break, and just clean all the threads. Or, the way I don't recommend is you can take them out, pay attention to the bolts that don't look good, and clean those threads. This is an option. I don't recommend it. I would clean all the threads, but this is the one that really needs attention because the rest look, they look pretty good, but we're going to clean them anyways. So that's what you're looking for is flattened threads. All right, we're going to get that prepped and then get ready to go together. All right, guys, got you set up on a new angle. Hope that works out all right. So what we got is a tap. It's a 10 millimeter, 1.5, and we're going to go through... I'm going to clean every one of these holes. I'm just going to show you one real quick. I use PB blasters. You can use WD-40. Because we're not actually cutting a new hole, the WD-40 PB blaster is fine for what we're doing. Never use the wrench to start it because you can end up getting it at a bad angle. So don't do that. But you can see how easy it's going. And it should be this easy. Slight force maybe but you should not feel like you're cutting a new hole. It should just be simple. So we're just gonna run it through. The nice thing about the top is you'll see when the tap gets through because the hole's right here on the back side. All right, we got through. Now I'm going to show you what comes off, because you'll see it on the tap. There you go. See if I can get it right in the camera there. Uh, it's not really adjusting right for us, but you see all the junk that came off. That's why we're cleaning every hole. The other thing I keep handy is the brake parts cleaner. Because if I don't clean my tap after every hole, I'm taking all that debris and putting it in the next hole. We don't want to do that. We want to keep it clean. The next thing I do is just get the rest of that junk out. It'll dry right up. That's why I use brake parts cleaner. Compressed air is fine. Um, just try not to blow compressed air back in here. You might be blowing junk that you don't want in there. All right, I'll get them cleaned up. And, uh, and I'll get the uh, emery cloth on each one of the exhaust ports. So we're ready for the exhaust manifold. Okay, guys, I know the uh, table's a mess, but it is three days later. So here's what happened. The new exhaust manifold came with the exhaust manifold bolts, but it did not come with the turbo stud kit. And reusing the studs out of the old manifold is just not something I would ever do. It uh, could be done, but I don't recommend it. So here we are three days later and it's time to put it in. We know the engine's already prepped. I thought I'd show you what the manifold kit comes with. And uh, we'll get over to the engine and start putting it in. Okay, guys. I know we're upside down again. But I'm going to show you how I put these exhaust manifold gaskets on. So what I did is I laid the, the new manifold up here. And I've got a bolt in two spots. I think I did number two and number five. And so what I'll do is I just put those in nice and loose. And I can pick any one spot. And I'll start... The first hole and you don't even have to have 
the gasket turned down. You can have the gasket up like this, make it easier to hold. Doesn't really matter because you're going to spin this in, get it started, and just let go of the gasket. The gasket will swing down, and then we'll take and thread it on again, keeping it loose because we're going to do this to all six. And when we get to number two and number five, there we go. <clears throat> when we get to number two and number five, then we'll pull the bottom bolt out, do the top, swing it down, and throw it in. So, and you can see, first one's always going to be a little more di difficult, but remember, we clean the threads, so you will be able to get them in. And that's what you do. Get all six on and lock it down. Then we'll go through and do our torque spec and everything. And honestly, right now, I think this uh, these new bolts take a little different torque than factory, so I'm going to have to check on that. But uh, I'm going to get this locked down. We'll throw that turbo back on. Okay, guys, so it was just 32 foot-pounds factory. Um, it's on there and torqued from the center out. Pretty simple. I will tell you, though, I'm, I'm not real happy with the Allen bolts for these two top. For, for this aftermarket manifold, it's almost impossible to get your torque on that. If you're like me and you really like to torque these things down, I'd recommend at least getting two factory exhaust manifold bolts, but you'll have to get them shorter to the same length as what these are. That way you can put a, a regular socket on and get a torque on. See, it can't really get your Allen socket in here, so it makes for kind of a pain. But she's on, and in the future, I'm just going to do it a little different. Um, next thing we're going to do is just run our studs in. Now on these studs... Just run them all the way in as far as you can. Do all four. And then we'll throw the gasket on, get the turbo up here. Um, the only real thing to make a note of is when you're... Now, we already have this prepped, but make sure you get your gasket on here between the turbo and, and get that seated properly. So, we're going to throw the turbo on and we'll be back when that's on. All right. Turbo's in. I think we'll wrap the video up here. Uh, last couple of things. I'm going to add a little bit of oil here before I connect the line. Then we just throw the air box back on. The only other thing on the back end is the exhaust tube. And you can see I got it sitting down there. I'll go ahead and clamp that on, but then we'll get it over to the muffler shop to finish the, uh, the exhaust system. So it's just the clamp and, and the line. But I'm having problems holding the tube up by myself because I was going to kind of finish the video with that all connected. But... I'm going to get somebody to hold that up while I put the clamp on, and then uh, it'll all be done. So there's our turbo and exhaust on the 9612 valve. See you on the next one.